Russia is deploying its army to the borders of Europe. NATO's military exercises have angered Moscow. Russia has strengthened its military forces in the north and west of the country to counter what Moscow perceives as a build-up of NATO forces near Russia, Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu said. In response to Russia's 2022 invasion of Ukraine, Finland has joined NATO and Sweden is on the point of doing so. NATO is this week conducting a military exercise called Nordic Response 2024, which it says will involve more than 20,000 soldiers in Norway, Finland and Sweden, and will focus on collective defence. Against the background of a build-up of NATO's military potential near the Russian borders, the expansion of the alliance through the accession of Finland and, in the future, Sweden, we have taken steps to strengthen the groupings of troops in the northwestern and western strategic directions, Shoigu told top generals without providing details. We need to be able to fight back and stop anyone who tries to challenge our border's values and democracy. So said Brigadier Tron Strand of the Royal Norwegian Air Force as a major military exercise involving 20,000 soldiers, 50 naval vessels and more than 100 aircraft, from 15 different countries including the UK, new NATO member Finland and soon-to-be member Sweden got underway in Scandinavia. Exercises such as Nordic Response 2024, due to run until mid-March, are vital in helping to ensure that the sum of NATO's parts proves to be effective when required to operate as a whole. European countries tend to want to each have the full spread of armed forces, which means there is much duplication of capabilities, not to mention bureaucracy, which is a problem for the alliance. Russian patrol boat engulfed in flames in Sea of Azov, losses reported. In the waters of the Sea of Azov, there was a fire on one of the Russian boats of the Coast Guard of the Border Service of the Federal Security Service of the Russian Federation. Losses among the occupants are known, reports the Defense Intelligence, the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, on Telegram. According to intelligence, the fire engulfed the engine room of the vessel, after which the crew urgently requested an evacuation group. This is evidenced by intercepted conversations among the occupants. The enemy suffered losses totaling five occupants, emphasizes the Defense Intelligence. It has added that the causes of the fire and the nature of the enemy's losses are still being clarified. This is not the first fire on a Russian vessel. It was recently reported that the icebreaker Yermak was on fire in the port of St. Petersburg. The Russian Emergencies Ministry released video footage showing firefighters attempting to extinguish the fire at the scene. There was no information about the casualties in the incident. According to information from the Russian agency, the icebreaker where the fire started is moored at the big port of St. Petersburg. The emergencies ministry clarified that the vessel is no longer operating and is slated for disposal. The fire started on the first and second decks. There are reportedly no casualties. However, online sources specify that the fire occurred against the backdrop of welding works. According to the video released by the Emergencies Ministry, firefighters have arrived at the scene. They are trying to prevent the spread of fire. Recall that Ukrainian defenders have already destroyed many Russian ships in the Black Sea using attack drones. The latest successful operation was on February the 14th. That time, the large landing ship of the enemy, Cesar Kunikov, went to the bottom. Biden says Trump bowed down to a Russian dictator, Putin. U.S. President Joe Biden has slammed his predecessor Donald Trump's comments regarding NATO, accusing the Republican frontrunner of bowing down to Moscow by saying Washington should refuse to defend its European allies that fail to fulfill their military spending commitments. Trump's suggestion during a rally that he had told an unnamed NATO member Russia could do whatever the hell they want with the country because it hadn't paid its bills was dumb. Biden insisted. It's shameful. It's dangerous. It's un-American. Imagine a former president of the United States saying that. The whole world heard it. The worst thing is he means it. The US leader continued, claiming that Trump's remarks meant he had bowed down to a Russian dictator. When America gives its word, it means something. When we make a commitment, we keep it, and NATO is a sacred commitment. Biden claimed, 
Donald Trump looks at this as if it's a burden. Biden had already denounced his rivals' remarks, calling them appalling and dangerous. On Sunday, in that statement, the president claimed his predecessor had effectively said he would abandon NATO allies if Russia attacks and give Russian President Vladimir Putin a green light for more war and violence.